Well, this is a cautionary tale. I'm just... I've wanted to make this video for a long time, and I'm just getting around to it now. Um, I just wanted to make this to warn anyone who's ever had nail polish that's dried up and then you put nail polish remover to it. And now, I've always done this. Where, you know, you get nail polish and it dries up. And um, I've always just added, put in some nail polish remover and shake it about a bit. And that's always helped and it's always worked. But um, a few years ago, I think you can't buy these anymore, I don't think. But now look, this honey pot um, nail polish, uh, I think it's just called Red Confetti. Um, as you can see, it's got holographic glitter, uh, red holographic glitter. And it looks lovely when it's on the nails. It really does look spectacular. Um, I remember going into a, an all-night Tesco and the lights from the, the Tesco on my nails, I couldn't stop looking at them. They looked so lovely. Um, and I had a blue one, exactly the same, called Blue Confetti, which is this one. Uh, blue Confetti. And this one is Red Confetti. And the blue one was, I suppose, I've never been able to find one similar since, because this isn't the same. This is another honey pot one, and um, this has got like uh, blue glitter bits, and then this is um, dried up. But I certainly won't be putting nail polish remover in there or this one because. Um, the blue version of this, which, as I say, I can't find one which is exactly the same because it was absolutely spectacular. This is nothing compared to what this one used to look like. It was the blue version of this. And it was really, really lovely on your nails. But it sort of dried up, as they do, and I put nail polish remover in. And, uh, yeah, it... um. There we are, because that's conf Confetti Blue. You can see the name on it there. So that one's Confetti Blue, and that, this one's Confetti Red. Um, well, you can take my word for that anyway. It's Confetti Red, or... Yeah, there we go. Confetti Red. I used to have a much better camera that could focus on things more close up, but I've put this one on a macro setting. I can't afford a better one at the moment. Anyhow, I put nail polish remover in there, and it's. I first of all, I thought it had completely dissolved all the glitter particles, but it, it just had taken off all the holographic and glitter effects. And I've tried adding glitter to it myself, and you can just see some of them, but the the effect is just completely dead now. And um, so that's. So if I'd added nail polish remover to this one, this would just be the same. And look at the difference. So it's just a, a warning. So that, it, you know, I have used... So that's what I was trying to say. Now, if I'd used nail polish remover in this one, um, this would be completely colourless now. There wouldn't be any colour in there. But, but I have added nail polish thinner... And um, obviously there must be a difference in between nail polish remover and nail polish thinner. So if you've got a holographic glitter nail polish, and I wish I could find another one exactly the same as this, because this is just not available. I don't. I think Honey Pot still make nail polish, but they certainly haven't got this lovely confetti blue one anymore. Um, and it's just completely dead. And uh, this is what nail polish remover did to it. But if I'd added nail polish thinner instead, it would probably be okay. So, just a cautionary tale, because um, I don't think many people realise that. I certainly didn't, and I had to find out the hard way. So, if you've got a lovely holographic glitter nail polish, and it's... Because I think glitter ones do tend to dry out more. Whatever you do, don't put nail polish remover. I mean, it might work okay for some glitters, but 
for this one, as you can see, it certainly killed it because th that was exactly the same as this, only the, the blue version. And it was lovely. And um, now it's, well, as you can see. So I hope this has helped someone. Bye.